cuties today we will see a very beautiful story it's about five great mahatmas i should say so let's go one by one the first mahatma his name is vitoba his name is vitoba he was born little late for a couple and uh, as soon as he was born he didn't he was not like a normal child he would roam around he would like a sanyasi like kind of a life from north he came down to pandrapur and our pandrangan and rukmini thought he's he was around like 18 19 years old they thought this boy is like roaming like anything and he is great in vedas shastras everything so we have to get him married he have to settle down pandrangan told okay rukmini if you wish so okay so there was a brahman in that pandrapur pandripuram area and uh, her his daughter name is rukmini his daughter name is rukmini so pandrangan went in his dreams and told tomorrow go to chandrabaga river and on the banks of the river you will see a small boy he is around 18 19 years old he he'll be lying down just give your daughter to him in hands for marriage this brahman told okay he went down to chandrabaga river next day morning he saw this boy vitoba and he told everything and vitoba told yes pandrangan told in my dreams too when pandrangan told to vitoba in his dreams that he should get married vitoba said pandranga i only want to be with you i am not interested in married life pandrangan said you might not be interested but we want to get yourself married so you have to be married so vitoba can't say anything he told okay the next day morning when this brahman gave his daughter in marriage to vitoba vitoba took his daughter in marriage and he stayed there in pandripuram itself he was there for a very long time very close to pandripuram area and uh, it so happened he waited for years and he was waiting for a kid to be born a child to be born so that he can leave his family and go for sanyasa but he waited and waited he didn't have any signs of a kid so one night he just left his wife and he went to kashi and got sanyasam under ramananda a guru called ramananda and uh, this lady rukmini she was like crying 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 she didn't understand why her husband left her because there was no fight there was literally nothing he was so good to her and they were so good couple but he just left suddenly out of no reason she waited for years together and one day this swami ramananda from kashi he gave he went on india trip whole bharat bharat pradakshina trip and he came to this close to this pandrapur area he saw our rukmini actually doing pradakshinam around the arasamaram arasa arasa tree and uh, usually ladies would do if they want a kid a good kid so when this rukmini came to get blessings from ramananda ramananda told you will be blessed with kids rukmini started crying she told my husband is not here anymore how will i have kids ramananda said my walk whatever i say will be true that is your husband rukmini said he when he got sanyasam to someone named ramananda in kashi it just shook him i am ramananda who is your husband what is his name rukmini told vitoba but ramananda after sanyasam usually they change name so his name was chaitanya now his name was changed immediately ramananda called someone and asked to bring vitoba back he instructed vitoba to stay with his wife which he should not do because from one ashram he should not get into another ashram but guru's work is very very important 
whatever guru say we have to follow whether it's good or bad don't worry about it if guru says it follow it that's it immediately ramananda uh, our vitoba uh, told okay to ramananda he came and he joined with rukmini and of course right god wants to be born for them the couple for this couple our uh, vishnu shiva brahma uh, parvati everyone wants to be born for this couple cuz such a good couple so in a year 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 gap they had four children janaba beautifully sings a abang of what who all was born to them so sada shiva cha avatara swami nivritti datara so nivritti devar was born as shiva avatara lord shiva was born as nivritti devar maha vishnu cha avatara sada ma ja jnaneshwar maha vishnu was born as jnaneshwar brahma sopa na to jala nijabat ananda vartala who was born as sopana devar lord brahma was born as sopana devar adi shakti mukta bhai dasi janila ke bhai so who was born as mukta bhai or parvati devi was born as mukta bhai so they had four children the first children is nivrti nivrti devar sopana devar sorry uh, nivrti devar jnaneshwar sopana devar then mukta bhai four kids they had and uh, people started ill treating vithoba a lot so they told you have to go for prayichittam because you are coming from one ashram to another ashram which you should not do from sanyasa ashram to grahasa ashram so you have to do prayichittam go to kashi and take a dip in the banks of river ganga so our vithoba went along with rukmini they thought only because of them the kids are suffering so they just left their lives in the river ganga so they just went inside ganga and these four kids they were like five, four three year four, four year old five year old six year old seven very very small kids they were left alone without parents and uh, they have to get the samskara done right they were brahmin kids they have to get the upanayana samskara done which is very very important for a brahmin kid to be done so they went everywhere they asked please put upanayanam for me for us we don't have any relations everyone said who are your parents they didn't have an answer vitoba and rukmini of course yes but everyone started commenting on the kids saying that you were born for a sanyasi so they started ill treating them so eventually what happened everyone said go to pratishthanapuram pratishthanapuram is a place in maharashtra where very very learned great scholars were there so they went to pratishthanapuram and learned scholars were sitting this boys went and asked the learned scholars please do upanayana samskara for us the learned scholars asked why should we do the boys said yaneshwar said it is our janma as born as this janma we have to get it done it's not just we have to read vedas or shastras or anything the learned scholars said oh do you know everything you know everything so you don't want to learn anything these boys said yes we know everything we know everything then these learned scholars they were like oh then why should you get it done just go away then yaneshwar said we know everything but it's our right and even though we don't know our parents lineage even the guru who's doing for us can do it in his lineage he was arguing with all sorts of shastras thing but the learned scholars were not ready to accept it so they are, they told this is a buffalo here can you make this buffalo chant veda jnaneshwar made a buffalo chant veda he made a buffalo chant veda you can see here a buffalo started chanting veda and this buffalo this pratishthanapuram learned scholars they were like totally shocked 
and this buffalo followed nyaneshwar everywhere and this buffalo was the one who heard the full nyaneshwari the translation of bhagavad gita completely the first one to hear everything and after this buffalo died they all came these four children they came to uh, pandrapur and they were staying in pandrapur and even today mukta bai's uh, image is in our india stamp that great is mukta bai so they were staying in pandrapur and one day what so happened is there was a man called sharanga devar okay there was a man called sharanga devar this sharanga devar this is uh, sharanga devar he actually lived for thousands and thousands of years he he knows how to uh, take his atma his uh, life from his body and keep it in another body and when the man comes to take his life off he used to it's called kuru vittu kudu payar the we'll say he used to do that a lot and he lived for thousands of years and he developed so many skills he once he developed a skill to wake up dead people so every day morning in front of his house you could see lots of dead bodies he would come out he would wake up everyone and he would go inside and no one even cared that people were dying in that place because sharangadevar could wake everyone up and he had a very bad impression on yaneshwar he was feeling very jealousy about yaneshwar one day mukta bai was crossing that area she saw lots of dead bodies she went to close to the dead bodies and people were saying oh you are a small girl you are a five year old girl, girl old girl just go off this place you'll be afraid to see so many dead bodies mukta bai said i should be afraid of dead bodies they are not going to do anything to me they are just dead why should be afraid of living people because they would talk something bad about me they would ill treat me something like that but these people are dead what are they going to do and people were saying okay go 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 mukta bai said why are you waiting here they said there is a man he's a great mahatma he would come and he would wake everyone up mukta bai said yeah, really i could wake everyone up she went close and she said vitala 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 she woke everyone up and when sharang they were wakes uh, dead bodies they would wake up and say copy tea i want breakfast everything but this mukta bai woke up when she woke up every all the dead bodies they started jumping chanting jai jai vitala jai hari vitala 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 and uh, sharang they were can't understand anything he thought oh i have developed a siddhi that even dead bodies comes to my ashram they will wake up then everyone told no no mukta bai woke up he got really angry he called for a tiger he called for a tiger and he sat on the tiger he called for a kala sarpam a big snake he took it as a rope and he went towards yaneshwar yaneshwar i was actually painting a wall in his house so he was sitting on a short wall and he was painting he saw this uh, uh sharang they were coming and he understood that he is showing off he just tapped the wall the wall started walking can you believe it a wall started walking and people don't know what to be surprised of either to be surprised of sharang they were sitting on a live tiger or to be surprised of nyaneshwar making a wall walk so sharang devar understood the greatness and he became a great devotee of mukta bai he became a great devotee of mukta bai and one more incident in their life uh, this is a beautiful place near pandripuram uh, and here you can see uh, our mukta bai doing roti on the back of yaneshwar once mukta bai went out to get some flour and uh, those days they used to get fire for making uh, things so he she went everywhere to in search of fire and people told we will not give you fire because you are born to a sanyasi she came home crying she is a small girl and yaneshwar told don't cry he she he just sat down 
closed his eyes in the yoga and this is called the yogic pose this is a yogic pose yoga agni so he made his body into fire she made rotis you can see her she made rotis on the back of gnaneshwar she made rotis on the back of gnaneshwar that's a beautiful incident and one more incident about mukta bai where she actually went to kora kumbha's house and uh, there were lots of mahatmas and she was the one who actually insisted namdev to search for a guru this story we'll see in namdev's charitram when we see namdev's story okay radhe radhe kutis